In this video, I'm going to have a look at installing Windows 11 using a local account. Um, this is sometimes required, um, for example, for OEMs that um, sell equipment on um, specialized equipment and set up the PC um, for the end user and obviously don't have their email details. So unfortunately, Microsoft have removed the bypass nro.cmd script that is commonly used to bypass um, the Microsoft account. Windows 11 25H2 has currently been released to the release preview channel, which means it's going to be um, released to the public um, probably within the next couple of weeks. So at current, there's only the Windows Insider um, release preview ISOM, but the media creation tool and the direct ISO download links will be updated um, fairly soon. So in this case, the popular utility Rufus can be used to create the bootable USB. Um, for 25H2, you're going to need the 4.10 version, which is currently in beta. So I'm going to insert a 32GB USB flash drive and now I'm going to launch Rufus. Accept the user account control prompt and check for updates at startup. Okay, so the 32GB USB is listed and I'm just going to change the volume label so it's more recognizable. So 25H2 and if I click start, notice there's the two checked options, remove requirements for an online Microsoft account, and then the option to remove some additional system requirements. So obviously if you don't use Rufus, um, if you use the media creation tool, these options won't be checked. And if you're using a factory image, um, these options won't be checked. So I want to essentially emulate the situation and I'm going to basically now be in the Windows 11 25H2 out of the box experience setup. So we can go ahead and connect to a network and then the Windows setup is going to check for some updates. So next we'll be prompted to name the PC. Okay, so now it will reboot and we'll be taken into the account setup screen. So if you select set up for personal use. Here you'll see the only option is to sign in. So if we go to sign in options, notice that there's essentially no sign in options apart from the Microsoft account. So what we can do here is press shift and F10. And there's essentially a new command to create a local account here. So it's start ms-cxh and then colon and then local only. So then after this, you're going to be taken into the Microsoft account setup screen, but in this case, it's um, the setup screen for a local account. And then after this, there's going to be a small number of privacy questions. And once you go through these, you'll um, be taken um, to the Windows 11 25H2 desktop. So if we go to settings, you can see that I'm logged in um, using a local account. And you can see that Windows updates working as expected. And that Windows is activated.